Tonight, new research is giving hope to some parents of children with autism. And it started with a remarkable program that is changing lives. CBS 2's Lisa Siegel is here now with today's Health Watch. Lisa. Hi, you guys. That program started right here in Southern California. Hello, everyone. One in 110 children has autism. It is actually four times more common in boys than girls. Well, new research is showing how intense behavioral therapy can make a difference in some children's lives. And early diagnosis, well, that's key. <laughs> yeah. We've got a castle, we've got a wall, and they I'm have something to guard. Seven-year-old Justin Marroquin and Jem Penrod Miller just met. And they're playing like longtime friends. But this never would have happened five years ago. Jem, oh, hi. I'm up here, buddy. He was a typically developing child, and then something happened, and all of his skills started to deteriorate. And I always say it was like a thief was coming in in the night and stealing parts of our child, to the point where he got down to five words that he would use sparingly. And this was Justin in the beginning. <laughs> okay, stand up! Because <laughs> his tantrums got just crazy off the wall. He was two when we first realized that he wasn't speaking and we had he has a twin sister so we were able to kind of compare the two i didn't have no no french like many other children with autism he had language problems and lacked social skills he also would do repetitive motions for him constantly opening and shutting doors i was addicted to it <laughs> but things changed you had autism so you don't have it anymore no the parents credit this place. Soon after diagnosis, both children came to the Center for Autism and Related Disorders, or CARD. Dr. Doreen grand Pichet is the founder and executive director. The main component of our treatment is what's called ABA, or Applied Behavior Analysis. This is a behavioral type of treatment where we essentially change the child's behavior. We teach the children all the skills they're lacking and we um, get rid of all the challenging behaviors, things like tantrums and aggressive behaviors and so on. The doctor is not saying every child can fully recover. She says every single one of them is different, but she does believe the sooner a child is treated with behavioral therapy, the better their chances. The state of Arizona is just releasing the results of a new study focused on 14 kids with autism treated for three years with intense card therapy. 43% show dramatic improvement. They no longer uh, qualify for a diagnosis of autism. And Justin and Jem's families believe treatment at an early age has made all the difference in the world. Justin, who barely spoke just a few years ago, took center stage at CARD's 20th anniversary gala two months ago. Yes, these are just two boys representing so many others from the center. Boys who barely spoke at all, didn't relate to others, and now are able to become fast friends. So we said, we're going to go for this, and if we get recovered, it's like winning the autism lottery, yay. But it doesn't matter. We have a child back. 23 states have made it law to pay for autism therapy like this. Now in California, programs such as CARD are covered mainly by school districts and regional centers or a combination of the two. For more information on CARD and autism, go to cbsla.com and click on News, then on Health. And of course, in the spectrum of autism and related disorders, there are varying levels of diagnosis, so not all programs will work in all cases. But early detection, again, the key. Can't stress that enough. Well, and anything that offers a sliver of hope to anybody yep. you know, in that spectrum is nice. And those kids are amazing. Yeah, they really are. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks, Lisa.